What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ live in effect on a Thursday night. Guys, we got a good one today. We are going to make some loaded pollo asado french fries. It's a lot. It's a lot to get out, but that's all right. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be lovely, delicious. Not healthy at all, but it's all right. If you guys are uh, catching this on the replay, this is a live stream. So you're catching the replay of a live stream. So it may go a little bit longer than what you're used to with my normal videos. So just kind of skip along as we go. Okay. Got a couple of people in the chat. We'll give it some time for people to catch up, get the alert, jump in. Okay. Guys, we got some French fries ready to start frying. We're frying them in duck fat. All right. Got a lot of fries here that I've already washed and dried, <clears throat> already uh, rinsed off and let it uh, dry off for a little bit. And then we have some pollo asado that I already grilled up and chopped up last night. We got some guac, we got some pico, pepper jack, mild cheddar, black olives, even though I'm sure there's people out there that don't like it. We're gonna season up these fries with my West Coast shake. Link down below, get you some. All right, I see some people jumping in the chat. Let me get these uh, spectacles on so I can read it. What's up, uh, Ron? Ron Deuce, what's up? Richard, Judge Webb, Bam Bam, what's up, man? Mojo, how you doing? Troy V, Signal Fan, howdy, howdy. I think I got everybody. See, we miss you, brother. What's on the grill today, guys? We are cooking in the house. Uh, we are not using the grill today. Uh, we're going to just do some regular old cooking. So we're going to fry the French fries first, and then we're going to get them in the oven with all those goodies we're going to put on top of it, okay? So it is going to take uh, – this probably take the full hour. So, you guys, like I said, if you're catching the replay, just skip along with it. I'm going to go ahead and bring the food in real quick and walk you around. All right, so – Got the French fries hand cut, mind you. That's why they're all uh, not uniform. That's okay. Hey, Felicia, how you doing? Terry, what's going on? Dutch, my brother. How you doing, man? All right, so we're going to fry those in duck fat. We're going to shallow fry them in duck fat. Over here, we got that pollo asada I've already chopped up, grilled up yesterday. Okay. Got some jalapenos. We got some lime jalapenos. We got some homemade guac. Some homemade pico de gallo. Got a little bit of lime in there. Little uh, hot sauce. Figure it's uh, May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Uh, we are using the dark side of the grills hot sauce. And no, we are not double frying because if we did double fry, we'd be here all night long. So we're going to just do one single fry and just let them go. Shallow fry. I'll get the first batch done and then start making everything. So hopefully, you know, I'll still probably be frying fries uh, when we're done with the live, but, you know, we'll get the dish made, okay? Hey, Robin, how you doing? Okay, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, whatever platform you're watching. We're live on YouTube and we're live on Facebook, okay? All right, you guys ready to get going? All right, I'm going to take camera CJ's food over to the um, over to the stove. I'll turn this away a little bit so you can see me. Okay. Quint, what's good, Shake? Hello, how you doing? All right, let's get this over here. Oh, help. Raise it up. There we go. Let's check the temps using my Thermo Pro. Let's try to get. Just about 375. Let's turn it down a little bit. We're about 400. So once we add these fries, once we add these fries, it's going to go down. The temperature is going to go down a little bit. So start adding them. Watch that splatter. We're going to fry until they're golden brown. All right. Look at that. 
Oh, honey, with the big old super chat. He goes, you don't know. That's Mrs. CJ right there. It's my secret spy account. Secret spy account. I'll open this up so it don't smell like fried food in here. All right. Woo. All right. Kyle, what's going on? Quinn, I said hello. He was this beautiful human you see. Well, hello there. <laughs> uh, this door is about to shut on me. <laughs> There we go, there we go. Let's take a look. Making sure it's nice and crispy. Turn down the heat a little bit. Getting these, uh, the first ones done, a little sacrificial lamb. Lambs? Yeah. Uh, so Chrissy, how you doing? Cheers, guys. She probably used CJ's debit card to pay for the super chat. No, Miss CJ got her own money. Mm -hmm. She's gonna make me uh, pay that back, though. I'm sure. In favors. In favors, there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Turn down the heat a little bit on those fries. Royce, sir, what's going on, man? How you doing, man? Royce, we are making some French fries. Not only French fries. <laughs> that is why CJ is smiling. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. CJ. <laughs> That's funny. Um, we are making some fries. We're making some loaded fries with some pollo asada. You hand cut those fries. I hand cut them. Yep. Yep, yep. So, guys, we only got about 27, 28 of y'all in there, so make sure you share this out and uh, get some eyes on this one. These fries are going to cook up way too fast, and these probably won't be the best ones. So we're going to do a first batch, kind of put those on the side, Iowa Cubbies, better than the McDonald's fan at fries you're used to here right now, you're eating right now. That's funny. Uh, um, yeah, so like I said, these are going to cook up too fast. I uh, let it go get a little too hot. Quint, dude, hey, hey, cheers to you, buddy. Thank you, man. This is way too generous, man, way too generous. But I'll tell you what, I'll take it because I have to pay you back in – you know, favors like with CJ when she gives a super chat in there. Um, yeah, these are going to, they're not going to cook all the way through. So we need to let these go through and then uh, we'll add some other ones in there. Just put enough cheese on it. It'll be good. Yeah. Yep. Let those go for a hot minute. How you doing, Shadow Seed? I'm going to adjust my setup around here. Move the fries over so I can start grating some cheese where I don't have to move around. It's a different kind of view for y'all. Got a part-time job finally. Cool, cool. All right, y'all, keep, keep an eye on those fries for me. We are grating some cheese. I just got some mild cheddar, a little pepper jack. We did the pollo asado yesterday. What's going on, Uncle Steve? Thank you for being here, my friend. We are going to be using some West Coast Shake on these fries. Check it out. All right, guys, it's Friday Eve. What are we all up to this weekend? What we got going on? Let me move that microphone over a little bit. 
a little bit. That's better. What are we doing this weekend? We having fun. We have an adult beverage or two. Just grating cheese. Nothing exciting. It's a must. Yes, sir. I mean, I may be a little biased, but I think that West Coast shake is my new favorite shake. <laughs> uh, I hate green cheese. It's just not fun to me. But I don't, I buy this stuff in the bag, don't get me wrong, but I don't like to. I feel like it's just uh, meh. All right, let's check on these fries. Those are bottom down. They got some good color. These are, like I said, our sacrificial lambs. Season up with this stuff. What's up? There's our fries. Okay. All right. Let's give this a uh, temp check again. Turn up the heat a little bit. But nothing too crazy. Let that come up a little bit. Kyle, still need to buy some, but taking care of friends. Make sure they have Uncle Steve. Make sure they have Uncle Steve shake you and someone in Wisconsin, right? Huh? James, what's going on, brother? How you doing? I know it's exciting. Look at me, great cheese, which you can't see, and <laughs> and then you got the pot of oil, pot of oil. Quinn, thank you again for that super chat, man. That was way too sweet of you. Way too sweet. I don't care what Kent says about you. You're all right in my book. All right, so guys, what are we doing this weekend? Seriously, give me some. We have the kids this weekend doing a little filming. Neither the bitchy baker or myself were able to get videos out this weekend. We decided to go visit some friends on Friday night. And then, uh, of course, you know, we had to hit Vegas. Saturday, we went for one night, got a bunch of comps, so they uh, they paid for our fancy dinner, a little bit of time by the pool, didn't lose all our money, which is awesome. We actually more or less broke even, which if y'all know me, which a lot of y'all know me, it's tough for me to break even because uh, your boy likes to gamble and I don't like to quit. Got to have my truck or shop tomorrow after that. No, no. 13th Uncle Steve. Uncle Steve's pig shakes going on the drums for a graduation party. So cool, Dutch. That was fun. RM, I don't know if I said howdy, but, but hi. Howdy, thank you guys for being here. Make sure y'all hitting those thumbs up. I'm literally just grating cheese right now, waiting for uh, oil to heat up. I think I saw Tom's Food Factory. What's up, Tom? How you doing, brother? Terry, that Ford gonna break down again? Oh, uh, see. Feel like there's some Ford Chevy going on right there. Cause I too have a Chevy. 
All right, let me go back to the the fries. So we got this up, Tim. No more. Keep climbing. A little bit more. Right. Got more minutes. I wanted to go to at least three fifty. Tree fifty. I feel like uh, <laughs> I feel like every time I don't have the foodie girl out for these lives, we have a bit less people on the, the show. <laughs> Got a lot of these foodie fans out there for sure. Guys, I put out a cookbook, Cracks Country Kitchen. What's going on? I put out a cookbook on uh, Thursday last week for the new wood fire grill. Y'all, man, that thing blew up. I think I sold down there 600 coffees, or coffee, coffees. Sold uh, 600 copies or downloads. Thank you, Terry. Appreciate it. No tree fee for you, Lock. This monster nice. It's thumbs up, guys. Yes. Terry. Terry knows what he's talking about. Losing enough weight. Let's see. My shorts barely fit. May have to barbecue naked. Hey, be careful with that, buddy. Don't want to burn anything. Sean, always great to watch your videos, learn something new. Mike in Montana. What's going on, man? Very much blessed. I'm with you. I'm very much blessed too. Yeah, I started asking, where's the foodie? <laughs> oh, sorry. Use a clickbait tile. Say so you're going to use a foodie, but have it sitting in the background. There you go. Uh, sad to leave Cabo Land in Carlsbad for a minute. There you go. Jason, what's going on, brother? Hey, thank you for sharing out my live, dude. That was very sweet of you. Y'all are a bunch of sweethearts. Hold on, Michael. I see your comment. Give me a second. Cheese is grated. Picked up the Bonchons, Japanese barbecue sauce. Watch your Hawaii Bell Park. Follow your instructions on that. Also, bought one of your cookbook. Michael, hey, thank you. Thank you for supporting. Guys, you don't know how much it means to me. You know, we put the time in on the cookbooks and y'all buy one. It's huge for me. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. So, cheese is done. Yes, pollo is chopped up. I left some big chunks for the, the pollo sada. The oven's on at 375, by the way. We're going to use the same tray that we got the fries on right now. Oh, that's some nectar of the gods right there. Chuck, how you doing, buddy? All right. Let's – I think we're good with the oil. The oil. Get some of these in there. go. Here are the fries we already cooked. So let's give them a try since we're here. We use our uh, arm. We use our 10 to 1 every day. Wow. Oh, they're cooked all the way through. Not as crunchy as you like, but they're good. There's something so comforting watching you cook. I want a beer with you, pal. Sean, I'll have a beer with you any day, brother. Yeah, man, it's just cooking. Who's having fun out here? Man. That's fries with that West Coast shake. What's up? They're cooked all the way through, though, so good stuff. Mm. Have a great Friday. Thank you so much, man. Careful out there. Do have to say that I play with the ninja recipes? You're always much better than them. 
not trying to talk bad about them, but thanks, my mom used to too. Hey, you know, I'll, I'll throw down. I'll throw down with Ninja any day of the week. So, hey, they're not talking bad, but some people have a little bit more, you know, know what's up. Get these fries out of here. Get this bowl ready to go. Give a little mix. So Dutch is right. Um, we should have double fried these. But again, I just didn't think we had time. I wanted to be able to kind of get through this within the hour. And even then, I think we're going to be pushing it a little bit past the hour. So, again, it's not that big of a deal. You know, if you guys stick around the whole time, I appreciate it. But if you don't, you got stuff to do. Don't sweat it. Oh, yeah, so good. But, yeah, guys, hit those thumbs up for me. I don't know. It says it does something for the algorithm. I could, I could use all the help I can get. Any, uh, yeah. uh, yeah, I have so, a couple tri tip videos. Um, uh, tri tip video coming out, but that has to wait for a little bit because it's a sponsored video. And then, um, I'm gonna do, uh, you know, like I did with the ribs, the throw down, I'm gonna do another one with briskets on the Ninja with Fire Grill. So, You'll see that soon. Hopefully, I, I can start filming that tomorrow, and then I'll get it edited for Sunday. That versus video I did with the um, with the um, the ribs it did really well with you guys. So. Late to the party. When did you hand cut the fries? What's Polly Watch College? What's a Polly Watch College? I missed that. Have you ever bought Tri Tip from Seaside Market? No, I have not. I am not opposed to it though. Uh, yes, I hand cut the fries before the show. I figured if I was here trying to cut all the fries, I wanted to have them time to soak in some water, get some of the starch out. So, but if I if I tried to cut the fries and then do all this, it just would have took forever. So, get a little tray out that I can put the fries on, so they're not uh, they don't get soggy in that pan. Papa, what's going on? Papa, Papa, Texas. Lisa, how you doing? Thank you for being here uh, over on Facebook. Right on. Message me your address. I'll send you some. All right. All right. I got you, bud. Uh, yeah. Everybody saying hi. Cool, cool, cool. Dutch, are you going to be able to jump on afterwards to chat for a minute if you're even watching right now? <laughs> Have y'all ever uh, fried in duck fat before? That's how we're cooking the uh, the French fries. We got them in duck fat. What's pollo asado? Got it. It's um, Mexican marinated chicken. It's chicken thighs. So it's chicken thighs that have been marinated forever and a day. And then I grilled them off in my Weber kettle yesterday. Chopped it all up. All right, cool. Let me chat with you for a little bit, my brother. Gerald, did you see the jeans, flies, chicken, and pigeons? I have not seen that. I'm not sure I'd give that a try. Well, I'm not trying to be like snobby about things, but uh, Kyle, yeah, there. I think there is. It's just the. Uh, it has more of a flavor than oil, so 
I can't even like uh can't even like uh describe it really. Um yeah, at least I think I just answered your question too. Yeah, the duck fat is just uh just adds a little bit more flavor. It's not terribly expensive, uh, but uh, it's more than oil for sure. Yeah, for the better. It adds a better flavor. But it's, again, it's not going to change your world. But I did do chicken thighs uh, breaded in duck fat. And I did that for uh, my chicken parm video. Y'all, the duck fat made a difference on that one for sure. So, dude, for real. Yeah, um, this pollo asado came from uh, one of my sponsors, uh, Branding Iron Ranch. I know uh, you all see some of the uh, videos I've been putting out or my reels that I've been putting out. We actually got to go uh, this weekend to their uh, to their factory, got a bunch of stuff, and uh, got to hang out and meet the whole crew, and it was very cool. So, yeah, they had an already marinated chicken. It's good stuff for sure. What's up, Anthony? How you doing, man? I used some duck fat. Some duck lean and didn't care for it. All good. Stop ignoring my question. I missed the question. Princess Consuela banana hammock. No, it does. Let's double fry it, Dutch. I don't want mushy fries. You don't want mushy fries. Let's get these out. Get the rest of them fried up. There. Got our pan for later. And we build those nachos and put them in the oven. Uh, let's see here. Did I miss? I was cooking fries and waiting for the poor man's burning hands. She asked, when are you going to do a live wearing game used Daddy Dutch banana hammock? <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I don't know if I'm uh, quite ready for that live stream. I don't know if y'all are quite ready for that live stream. Got the oil too cooled down, then it was too hot, then it was too cold. I hate live cooking. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to let these fries chill out on this rack. And then move it away from the Dutch oven. Saving up two months just to buy a new spray can of duck fat. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I like that spray duck fat too. It's pretty good. Just learn. I got it from my mom. And Food Network taught myself. YouTube University. Love cooking. Love feeding people. That's that's how I learned. 
School of Hard Knocks. <laughs> Still watching and saying hi, okay. What well, y'all got in your cups tonight? Talk to me. Soul Food Cooking, how you doing? Robert, what's going on, brother? Miss you guys. I haven't seen you in a hot minute. <laughs> Glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by, man. Uh, so you're saying not the king of frying fries. No, I'm not. Especially when it's live and I got the pressure. Everybody watching me. <laughs> if, I, if I was by myself and this is not cooking, I'd not, I wouldn't have any problems at all. These would be the best fries you'd ever seen. Or at least it would look that way on Instagram. <laughs> RM's drinking water. He's at work. Listen, when I work, you know I'm not always drinking water. <laughs> CJ Kent, who I owe $50 to. I know I lost the bet, but I forgot who. Uh, Kyle, you owe it to me. I, I forgot what the bet was for, but I'm sure I won. So I'll take it. <laughs> Lisa, we're, we're family. Damn right. Oh, now that song's going to be in my head. We are family. I got all my sister with me. We are family. I hear that. Yep. Let's see. I was thinking that Papa one. <laughs> Uh, Dutch says no, sir. So he he, he must be agreeing with me that I won. <laughs> Labrador, I ordered your your ebook. Always follow your recipes. Never had a bad meal. Wood fire my friend. Well, thank you, and thank you for buying the book. That means a lot to me, guys. I hadn't i I actually have four other e cookbooks, and I haven't had the demand that I had for this book. Okay, uh, the wood fire book, everybody wanted it. I actually put it on Amazon today uh, so you can get it on your Kindle. Um, that cookbook, uh, the sales on that e cookbook for the wood fire, uh, it was more than all my other cookbooks combined, which is wow, this is mind blowing. Uh, had a lot, had a lot of people uh, get into it, like. I, I seriously, I already have it in my head what some of the stuff I'm going to do uh, for the next cookbook. So wood fire grill recipes 2.0. Live bit longer, little bit longer now. Making the lasagna soup. Robin, tell me what you think of it. I think it's the bomb, like the money. Like I really dig it. But let me know what you think of that lasagna soup. It is ridiculously easy to make. Like, just so easy. We got my little black olives here. I just want to use, I don't like a lot of stuff. But I love me some black olives. So, Lord, I will do that. Thank you. Signal Fan, what's the new food challenge? What's the next food challenge with the Ninja Recipe book? Um, yeah, I don't know, Signal Fan. I got to think about that one. I have probably about six or seven more recipes ready to roll that I can put together. And then I got to spend some time doing a little research in the lab. So maybe by like July. Uh, that's probably it. Uh, Christy, uh, Christy, I make, uh, I use russet also. I feel like those fry up the best. Then they're easy on the pocketbook. I feel like these are getting stuck together. That's so why I keep moving them a little bit. But they're almost ready to come out. Uh, Papa Texas, am I coming to Houston again next February? Uh, I would love to. I would. I have it in my brain. I have it on the calendar uh, to you know see what we could do about doing it. 
I cannot commit, but it's definitely something I want to do because I had a blast with y'all. Uh, that was that was such a good time. I can't wait. So I hope to make it happen again for sure. Good, good. Purple Gang, best salt is ready. I'm using this. No salt, West Coast shake. Got to get it. Got to get it. Is there going to be another barbecue YouTube cook-off again this year? I don't know, Kyle. Um, I don't know who wants to put that together. I do not have the time and honestly desire to make that happen, but uh, I think Joe did it, um, you know, a couple years in a row. So maybe Joe will do it. Out. Hopefully not spill hot grease on myself, especially in the middle of a live. Then we'll start our second fry. Houston was a blast. Yes, sir. It was great hanging out with my guys. Me, Dodge, Mags, PT, Bam Bam. Oh, let's see. Link season. Is the link right, brother? It should be. Underneath the thing. Should be. Uh Miss CJ with the green stuff on these fries. Miss CJ has exited the building. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Family time, five nine or five five nine. What's going on? Another one of my guys that we were hanging out at uh, Branding Iron Ranch this weekend. Another part of the team, Branding Iron Ranch. Y'all say hi in the chat. Uh, let's see what else. Have I tried sixteen mesh pepper? I have not, unless it wasn't a seasoning or a rub that I had. But I have not, Papa. Um, oh, honestly, I'm not a huge pepper guy, you know. Let's get some of that out. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge I, I like the pepper. Nah, whatever. Really enjoy your channel. Had a successful coach every time with the Ninja Woodfire Grill. Your steps. I also use your West Coast Shake and have your ebook as well. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. The support is real. I know Uncle Steve, uh, you tell me that the West Coast Shake, you, uh, people aren't digging it, enjoying it. And that's all I can ask for. Y'all have been awesome. Freaking love it. Kind of straighten up my, uh, my deal over here. So the plan is to get these fries double fried up again. And, or not again, double fried. And then we'll build a platter with the fries, the pollo asada, or asado, um, and then the cheese. Get that in the oven. Let it melt up a little bit. And then we'll um, uh, and then we'll start adding all the cold stuff to it. I got the guac and the pico, pico de gallo. A couple jalapenos that we'll slice up real thin, put on the top. Take a picture for the gram because, you know, if you don't get on the gram, what the hell? We still got a little ways to go to get that heat back up. Hog mog and peat feet or pig feet would be next. I don't know what hog mog is. Let me explain what it is. Um, and I'm not too hip to pig's feet. I never tried it though, so I guess I can't really be, you know, too whatever about it. Um, how long did it take to come up with the West Coast Shake? Uh, 
I think I, I think at least like five six months. I uh, start. I had to buy everything that I wanted to do for the seasoning, and then uh, you know test it out on some stuff. Then send it to uh, Steve and uh, Dutch and Mags and uh, get their opinion. And then uh, Steve had to you know adjust it to his. Um, menu of seasonings for lack of a better word to kind of get it to cohes or to mix up a little bit because uh, the seasonings that i used to build it you know just here in my house were relatively expensive and uh wouldn't be sustainable for you know the, the backyard rub um so we had to find a way to make that rub work for steve's uh, uh inventory of spices basically and make it a little bit cheaper so Rios did some pulled pork with your method. Absolutely fantastic. That little machine does warrant wonders. Yes, it, it's pretty damn interesting. I ever had Cuertos and liked it. You would love, oh, well, if you've ever had Cuertos, you would love pickled figs. Well, I don't like anything pickled, so that might be a problem, Jason. Who knows? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm a very picky fellow, guys. I'm going to take up that oil to about 375 or so. Uh, double fried is the best. Booger taught me that. Yeah. Miss Bugs, she knows a lot. Whew. That West Coast shake on the fries, though, even these, these ones that are the sacrificial lambs. Dude, they're freaking money, dude. Love it. Love it. Got my Uncle Steve Shake mug right here. Yeah. Of course, my logo. Oh, then it's probably the worst thing. <laughs> Rock on the <laughs> Pinky, that only touches the tip of the iceberg. Wow. Dutch, when you double fry, what temp do you take your Second fry, too. I need to know from a professional. Guys, we're over 40 minutes in. Thank you for sticking around with me this long. Like I said, this one's going to be a little bit longer than uh, normal. But I got the oven on. Shouldn't take too long. I might actually throw that broiler on, too. Get it all nice and crispy and brown on the top. So we'll see. And then we'll build it, take a couple bites, and we'll call it We'll call it a call it a day, but thank you guys for sticking around this long. I was doing my best to keep these lives to about 45 minutes uh, to an hour. This might go a little bit over. Hogma is chitlins, but with beef stomach. All right. I have not tried it. Um, I'm sure there's a way to make it where it actually tastes good. Uh, Hopefully someday I'll find that out, but I'm not sure. That's 375 to 400 second fry. Yeah, that's all I figured. I just want to make sure I was right. You know, all the keyboard commandos out there, keyboard cooks, if you will, roast me in the comments. Roasting. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. All right, let's start frying. You're always right. All I have to do is ask you to tell me you're right. <laughs> Well, it's true. Uh, but the video continues to roll. That's true. Papa Texas is making poor man's burn in.
Meanwhile, we got these fries here. With that West Coast shake. Video will come out soon. Cool, Papa. So, guys, we got to film a couple videos for uh, the bitchy baker this weekend. Usually, when we do more than one video, it's a bit of a challenge. But that's all right. We're pros around here. If y'all aren't subscribed to Mrs. DJ's channel, the link's down below. You can check it out. I have uh, the back door open. Oh, right on here at the campground. Cool, Dutch. The best thing about these loaded things, these loaded fries, Uh, I'd love for you to explain how you cheat. I hope that means clean <laughs> and reuse the oil. It's so expensive for me to throw it out. That's why you never fry it. Um, there's a, I know a lot of people use cheesecloth and then pour that over it into a container where you can air tight, you know, close it. What's up, Left? How you doing? Left's on Facebook right now. Fries are almost done. Got some golden brown and delicious. Kent, are you still yelling at people speeding by? <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, the knot. The knot. Did I say that right? Um, uh, in all honesty, I don't fry enough at home myself. So um, I will probably. Um, probably, I'll probably end up tossing it because I don't do it enough to, uh, you know, keep it on hand to want to reuse it. Uh, if I fried more stuff more often, then yeah, I would, uh, I would try to recycle it, but Don't overflow. Pour another drink real quick. Hope y'all don't mind. It's Friday Eve. I mean, why not? Why not have a little drinky poo? All right. Let's get these off. Put them nice and brown and crispy. Get those over on the tray so they drain and stay crispy. Let's start getting the other ones back in. Fries have fallen through the grates on this, uh, this little tray here. That's okay. Spread these fries out a little bit. Give them a good seasoning. Ooh. A little hot. Get that uh, 
Um, it's Thursday. Yeah, Friday Eve. <laughs> All right, get a little of that West Coast shake on top. I was going to toss it in the bowl, but I don't want that to get uh, uh, soggy in that bowl. So I'm going to avoid that. You know these fries are steaming hot. Nice and brown and delicious. What oil do I choose? Um, it's uh, duck fat. It's real good. Uh, lift the grate and grab them. Yeah, it's a lot of work for just a couple soggy fries, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh, I threw up the seasoning on there, but this is the West Coast Shake. Link down below if y'all want to get yourself some. Do y'all like to hand cut your fries and fry them like this? Oh, that's good. Oh, it's so much better. Guys, do the double fry. I know I was trying to save some time. Do the double fry. <laughs> you can't go wrong. Threw some French fries seasoning on some pork chops. It was awesome. Okay, Papa, I see you. Oh, oh, that's good stuff. Cheers again, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me so long. Again, I wasn't trying to make it this long, but, you know, with live cooking, sometimes things happen. Got a little of that pollo asado. So good. Mm. If you're in California or Arizona, get some of that pollo asado uh, from Branding Iron Ranch. So good. You can get it at uh, Vaughn's, Winco, uh, Albertsons, and Stater Brothers. So if you're in the Western region, uh, someone's going to have to clean this up. It's going to be me. It happens. So how many times have you guys heard May the 4th be with you today? I got to know. I've been hearing it all day. Gotten a couple emails. It was a whole thing. Tell me how many times you heard it. It is called Branding Iron Ranch is the name of the, the uh, company that makes that pollo asado. They also have a bunch of stuff. Uh, Try to, uh, uh, carne asada, uh, some steakhouse stuff, chimichurri uh, steak and uh, chicken. Uh, when I went to their plant, man, I was overwhelmed with all the stuff that they actually do have, and we just don't get all of it in Southern California. Uh, dang wind and May Fourth too much. Yep. Labs on uh, YouTube. What's going on, guys? Uh, Branding Iron Ranch. Yes. Yeah, hopefully they do. Don't y'all have to get rid of that gas stove being in California. If I had to get rid of my gas stove, that would probably be the only thing that gets me to move from California to Papa, Texas. <laughs> y'all said hi to Lep in the chat. Lep will come to you. I'm going to take these so they're nice and crunchy. Quint, I can't get over that super chat, man. Thank you so much. That was very sweet. You know, we have a Winko around the corner, and I've never been there. So I need to try that place out. I don't, I've never been. Keep your gas stove. Yeah, I've uh, in the past had to cook on an electric stove, and I flip and hate it. I, don't, I would never go back to it. I would actually just cook outside if I had to. Like I don't want uh, 
yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that stuff in my life. I need gas stove. Lap, who's on the hot seat this weekend? Y'all don't know Leprechaun TV does the hot seat, interviews a bunch of other creators, creative people. These are almost done. Crispy, luscious. I won two bottles of duck fat for KB's Outdoor Kitchen. Cool. Winko looks blah, but it's the best. All right, I'll check it out. Uh, the lap, uh, or sorry, the Lakers, I think, are playing uh, Golden State right now. If anybody want, got eyes on that score, let me know. I used to be a huge Lakers fan growing up, and then they went to shit. So, yeah, you do. If you like coffee, get their whole beans. Plus, prepare for the bins aisle after aisle, plus some great meat for barbecue. All right. Kyle's 40 40. Is it tied up? Or am I thinking about something else? Oh. Lakers down 42, 40 to 42. Okay, so it's close. I bet that thing goes to seven games. It feels like that's what the NBA does. They drag out all these games and just for the cash money revenue. Use duck fat on the Blackstone, Brussels, potatoes, onions, and bacon. Bacon and smashers. Okay. How was it on the bacon? That's a lot of fat going down, right? Mike, what's up, brother? Thank you for being here. Sorry, y'all get to look at the back of my head. That's all right. Look at the, look at the fries. Looking good. Golden brown and delicious. Turn off the heat. Go ahead and season these up with that West Coast shake. Guys, I wouldn't pip it if it wasn't good. And this stuff's bomb, bomb diggity. I love it. It is an amazing shake. All right. Let's get organized. Welcome in. Let's go. Cannot get the game on Stream East. Right. Let's get over here. We left the fallen soldier in there. Come back. That's hot. All right. All right, let's look at our set. Oh, we're losing it, guys. We're losing it. All right. But, sir, I've been watching hockey, but you don't you won't bore it all. Keep watching, flopping, blah, blah, blah. Games go back and forth. You know, I love watching hockey. Watching in between. Thank you for watching me in between. Actually, you know, I love watching hockey. We went to a hockey game before. And it was too much fun. All right, so we're going to build it on this. So let's grab some of these fries. A lot of these fries went through the grates. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Uh, I don't know why I use such a big thing. Shaq lives four miles from me. Got to hang out with them. Wow, right on the mic. Let's go ahead and use all these up. I'll clean this out later. Set that right there. Just set that right there. Hockey. All right. Oh, that one jumped out. I gotta eat it. 
right. Got some uh, pollo salad here. You know what? Let's get a little cheese underneath. Just to start the show. We got some pepper jack and some mild cheddar. If it jumps out of the pan, you got to eat it, right? Some more of that pollo sato on there. This is grilled pollo sato. So dang good, guys. So dang good. Wish I could get into hockey. You know, to me, it's pretty cool. Because, you know, they, all the fighting and all that jazz. All right. All right. Chicken on. A little bit more cheese. Cheese. All right. All right, so there's our first part. Oh, over here. All right. All right. Stuff to get that angle right. Do I ever make enough food for the kids? Yes. Papa, I do. The little beggars get all the food they can eat and then so. But on Thursday nights, and kind of one of the reasons why I do the live is everybody's gone. Uh, so. I don't have to worry about cooking for everybody else. All right, let's start getting these ready. Got some. Let's cut up a lime just for the, the looks, for the lulls. Hey, Carl, you don't have to. My kids are minimized. Okay, go. What's up, Kara? How you doing? Kara is watching on Facebook. Thank you for being here, buddy. Appreciate you. All right, let's get a little bit of this jalapeno. We're going to cut nice and thin little, little medallion type things. Oh, we're doing well. We're making some loaded pollo asado. French fries, you missed all the the double frying of the French fries, Kara. Kara, if you hear from your uh, hear from the team at Pit Boss, tell Barrett I'm looking for him. Barrett's ignoring my phone calls. <laughs> I don't think we need that many jalapeno pieces. It's more just for like color. So that's good enough for me. Put that to the side. Don't have uh, you use a pizza cooker? I do not. Uh, but word on the street is I'm getting uh, some sort of a pizza cooker soon. That's the word on the street. Go wash my hands for those jalapenos. Once I build this, uh, build this monstrosity, I'm going to turn this, this camera off. Exploring food, that'll be cool. Haha, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, man. Tell Barrett I'm hurt. My feelings are hurt. Barrett said he loved me and he walked away. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I? Serious guys. There is a mental image CJ on ice skates. Dude, that is that is a sight to be held. I'm actually gonna go to broil on this thing. Broil, hi. Start. Gotta get a move on, guys. Come on. I went on ice skates one time uh, when I was 16, 17, and all I remember is my girlfriend at the time, little high school girlfriend, uh, she wanted to go, so I went, and uh, she had this big old keychain, just 
tons and tons of um, uh, crap on it, key keychains, whatever, and like one key, and I was holding it in my pocket, and I fell, and about died. I thought I broke my leg because I landed right on the keychain. So from that point on, ice skating was not my my scene, baby. All right, so we're going to put a little pico on the top. Uh, we're going to uh, put a little guac on top. I mean, it's basically nachos with uh, french fries, right? I mean, am I, am I wrong? Am I off? I think I'm right. Yes, we are the Lake Erie Monsters now. Is that a, a hockey team? Let, let's see here. Exploring food. Good thing you didn't cause major damage. That's true. I still, I still got the old trick leg. I'm just checking on it. I put it on broil. Oh, you guys can see it. There you go. I put it on broil. And then uh, we'll go ahead and pull it out when it's done. Where's the food now? Yeah, in the oven. We got the broiler on. We're going to let it kind of do its thing. I'll dress it up right here in front of this camera. And then uh, I will turn this camera off and take pictures because if it didn't get on the gram, I mean, what's the point, right? Uh, and then we will take a bite and it will be lovely. And then I can let you guys go on your merry way. I know you guys are sticking around to the finish because you want to see what it looks like at the end. You want to try some, you want to love it. <laughs> <laughs> when you say leg, I was very young. That wasn't a part of it. It was actually the my, my quad. <laughs> Be careful, Mrs. CJ's in the chat. I know she's lurking somewhere. <laughs> I was a youngin. All right, gotta get that dark side of the grill. We got a. Gonna tag Mel in this. If y'all don't know Dark Side of the Grill on Instagram or YouTube, y'all check them out. <laughs> I miss each. Um, uh, he's actually in Australia right now doing some barbecue stuff. It's amazing what they're doing in Australia with barbecue, and you know having Mel out there. It's very cool. All right. Almost done. Just turned it around a little bit. Use a Blackstone Mini brand. Yes, I actually have a couple of Blackstones. I don't use them right at the moment because uh, Pit Boss, I was doing some stuff on their griddle. Um, so, uh, yeah, I haven't been using my Pit Boss. But I'm actually, I reached out to Traeger recently since Pit Boss isn't calling me back, Kara. And uh, I uh, might try to work with them. Maybe I'll get their new uh, griddle. We'll see. But I love I love griddle cooking for sure. For the latecomers, can you explain what you've done? Yes, I will. Let me check on the fries real quick. All right, so what have I done so far? We cut some, well, I didn't do that on a show. All right, we've double fried some French fries. We have some grilled pollo asada that I already chopped up and it was already ready to go. Um, we just put some cheese on there. Um, now I'm going to dress this up with all the fancy bits and then uh, we'll call it a day. I fried everything in duck fat. That makes a difference to you. Only want just to like a little bits of color here and there. It's not like I really need that pico de gallo on there, but it's pretty good stuff. Do the fries stay crispy after all this? Um, yeah, especially after you put them in the broiler. Broiler. Now some of the the fries that are touching, uh, you know, the cheese and all that, eh, maybe not so much. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of black olives on there. 
These are uh, crushed black olives. Obviously, you can omit if you don't like it. Jeremiah, thank you, man. Appreciate you. Sour cream, no. No sour cream. Your boy does not enjoy sour cream. But if y'all enjoy sour cream, please do you. All right. Let's get a couple of lemons on the side here. Ooh, little limes. Mm. Yeah, this about right. Little guacity guac. Double fried works better for sturdiest. That's right. Do the uh, right answered. Let's get a little dollop of some guacamole. Guac. Guac. Now, those fries are not going to be. Uh, not soggy. <laughs> All right, let's get some. Uh... You know what? Before we put those on, let me get this off. Let me get this off. Got to get a little of that hot sauce on there. Guac this way, eat this way. <laughs> All right. Get a little of this hot sauce on. Get a little on the. There we go. This thing is so dang colorful. Josh. How you doing? Just catching the end right now. That's okay. Dude, this thing is ready for the gram. I don't know about you guys. Y'all have a casual, grab a tray, chug this dish, nacho in the broiler, so, yep. Thousand pardons, I feel like I'm, uh, what a mess. This is a beautiful mess, Steve. Come on now. Ooh. Uh All right, all right. Come on, let's get organized. Let's go. All right. I need to turn this on. I need that over there. Put that there. Move this over. Do a little flyby. Memphis Tiger Blue. What's going on? Greetings from England. Hey, thank you for being here. Zoom in. I will relax. Uh, look, you fabulous. Thank you so much. Lance, thank you for being here. Let's go. Are you guys ready for the flyover without the shadow? There's the shadow. Sorry. Can't do anything about the shadow. I don't know why it's upside down. Not the shit. There we go. Sorry. What's going on, Larry? Thing of beauty right there, folks. All right. Larry, thanks for being here, man. Ooh, that's a little warm. Let's do this. Do a little three-up action. There we go. All right, guys. Uh, after eating that, you're not going to need a new port. You're going to need a new port, sure. <laughs> Oh, people still smoke new ports? All right, I'm going to go ahead and log this one off. Sorry, guys. I need to get some uh, Grammy-type stuff right here. Don't mind me. Ooh, it's hot. Thank you, guys. Uh, keep, keep hanging out for a hot second if you don't mind. You got to do the. Mm. Hold, please. <laughs> I got stuff behind the camera over here.
Gotta go sideways, sorry. Hope you guys are talking amongst yourselves while I do this stuff. Uh, so you're going to barbecue? Hard to do in the kitchen. Yeah, I actually barbecued the pollo asada last night or grilled it. Abracadabra, cream up in there. Crema, no crema, not a fan. You do you, though. Make it happen. I'm going to do a little video. Oh, son of a bitch. Hold on, hold on. We got everything jumping. All right. Pollo asado, french fries are done. You know you want some. You'll see that on Instagram or whatever, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's, uh, let's give these a taste. Since I use my phone for the extra camera on here, it's like going nuts right now. Because I haven't been clearing it. Right on. All right, all right. You guys, I know you're eager to try this with me. All right. What do you guys think? Those fries, those like guac. Definitely get some chicken on that bad boy. I'm gonna drop this on my laptop, guaranteed. Cheers, guys. <laughs> oh hell yeah. Yeah, hit the thumbs up, people. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That was oh, it's too damn good. Guys, that's dinner right there, baby. If y'all ain't double frying your fries, make sure you double frying your fries. Use that pollo asado. I know a lot of people do carne asada fries and all that stuff, but I love it, the chicken. So get you some. It's so damn good. Mm. All right, guys. Listen. We were a little bit later than I wanted to be, but we have 30 people still sticking around and watching, and I appreciate every one of you. Um, I will be doing uh, – I will turn the little hangout on afterwards. So if you guys want to come hang out, message me. I'll send you the link to StreamYard here. Uh, see, uh, Lakers are losing. Cool. Yeah. So uh, message me, and I'll send you the link. You can just hang out with me while I eat all these fries and while you know, BS for a little bit. Um, I'm going to try to do this again next Thursday, so make sure you guys tune in. Not entirely sure what I'm going to cook, but judging by the amount of people here, if I'm not cooking on that Ninja Foodie Grill, there's a lot, a lot less people. So we'll be doing something on the Ninja Foodie Grill for sure. <laughs> Thanks, Troy. But other than that, guys, let's go. We're done. Thanks for hanging out. Let me know if you want to get in that after party and hang out and chat. All right. Have a beautiful